Welcome back guys. It has been so long since I posted the last video. I was busy with my regular stuff. So today I'm actually trying to give you some insight related to the simple harmonic problem. Simple harmonic simple harmonic uh, oscillator problem. I'll try to divide this into two categories. So for the part one, I'll actually focus on mass on a spring oscillator. Okay, so I'll just take a simple problem regarding this and try to solve this particular problem so that you will get some insight about this particular problem. For example, the problem reads says, consider, consider a mass on a spring simple harmonic oscillator with spring constant, spring constant k is equal to 4 newton per meter and with mass 16 kz on it. Now the first question where it says we have to find the period of this oscillator. Then we have to find the, the frequency of eight and then find the angular frequency finally we'll see what happens to period if if we double the spring constant and we also try to figure out what happens to the period if we double the mass double the mass on the SHO. Let's focus in the first problem, first part of the problem. So we have to calculate the time period of SHO. All of you know that the time period for SHO or simple harmonic oscillator is given by 2 pi under root m over k. So in our case it's 2 pi under root mass is 16 kz so it's 16 over 4 so that's nothing other than 2 pi under root 4 right so this is 4 pi and then this is actually 12.56 second the second part red says you have to find the frequency of SHO so then frequency of simple harmonic oscillator is given by inverse of time period which is actually 1 over uh, whatever value you got from the earlier problem which is 12.56 and then this is nothing other than 0 0.0796 frequency has yes a unit of hours all right in the third part you have to calculate the angular frequency of SHO or simple harmonic oscillator which is given by 2 pi times F this is basically nothing other than 2 times pi times whatever you have got in the earlier problem and this is actually nothing other than 0.5 radian per second next we have question number four which reads says what happens to period if we double the spring constant? So 
basically you have the expression of time period as 2 pi under root m over k right so then this is the original time period so if we double the spring constant t prime will simply be 2 pi under root m over k prime right you double the spring constant so it's k prime which is actually 2 pi m over k prime is actually twice the spring constant as earlier so this is nothing other than 1 by root 2 times 2 pi under root m over k so this is basically half root 2 times the time initial so your time period actually gets reduced by the fraction of root 2 all right so finally we move into the fifth problem which actually wants you to calculate the change in period or the new time period when the mass on the spring is doubled all right so once again let's go back to the expression for time period which is 2 pi under root m over k right so then if we double the mass on the spring it will translate to 2 pi m inverse over k which is nothing other than 2 pi twice m over k right so then t prime is nothing other than root 2 times 2 pi m over k so this is actually root 2 times the initial time period so from here we can conclude that if we increase the mass on the simple harmonic oscillator by twice its, twice its initial mass then the time period will also get increased by root 2 times of initial time period all right guys so this is how we solve a simple problem simple mass on a spring oscillator problem in simple harmonic motion so i hope this has to some extent helped you guys to you know clear all those queries related to simple harmonic motion uh, if you are finding this stuff helpful please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and you can even leave a comment in the comment section below so that I can focus on different problems in near future. Thank you.